ஹாய் டியர் ஸ்ட்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் சேனல் அன் வினய் குமார் பேசிக்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் டியர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் தி ஒன் ஆஃப் த மோஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஷார்ட் ஆன்சர் கொஸ்டின் இன் த சாப்டர் ஆஃப் லாஸ் ஆஃப் மோஷன் தட் ஈஸ் வாட் ஆர் த லாஸ் ஆஃப் ரோலிங் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் ரோலிங் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் யொக்க லாஸ் ராயாலி ஃபோர் மார்க்ஸ் கொஸ்டின் மோஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஸோ வாட்டித்தோ பாட்டு லா ஆஃப் ஸ்டாடிக் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் லா ஆஃப் கனடிக் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் கூட டிஸ்கஸ் చేయబోతున్నాను ఈ వీడియోలో కానీ మీరు ఆన్సర్ రాసేటప్పుడు మాత్రం ఓన్లీ లాస్ ఆఫ్ రోలింగ్ ఫ్రిక్షన్ మాత్రమే ఆన్సర్ రాయండి మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ వెరీ ఈజీ అండ్ డైరెక్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ మనకి తక్కువ కష్టంతో ఈజీగా నాలుగు మార్కులు తెచ్చుకున్నటువంటి ఆన్సర్ ఇది సో కాబట్టి వీడియోని జాగ్రత్త చూడండి లాస్ట్ వరకు చూడండి స్కిప్ చేయకుండా చూడండి సో వీడియోని చూసిన తర్వాత మీ యొక్క ఒపీనియన్ మాత్రం కామెంట్ లాగా రాయడం మర్చిపోకండి సో ఇంకొక రిక్వెస్ట్ ఏంటంటే మన ఛానల్లో ఇంటర్మీడియట్ ఫస్ట్ ఇయర్కి సంబంధించినటువంటి ప్రతి టాపిక్ని కూడా అప్లోడ్ చేయబోతున్నాను అదేవిధంగా సెకండ్ ఇయర్ అదేవిధంగా కాంపిటేటివ్ ఎగ్జామ్కి సంబంధించినటువంటి ఎంసెట్ నీట్ వేసి కూడా నీట్ కూడా వీడియోస్ని అప్లోడ్ చేయబోతున్నాను సో కాబట్టి ఖచ్చితంగా రెగ్యులర్గా వాచ్ చేయండి నా ఛానల్ ఖచ్చితంగా మీకు హెల్ప్ అవుతుంది ఓకేనా లేట్ చేయకుండా టాపిక్ వెళ్ళిపోదాం వాట్ ఆర్ ద లాస్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్రిక్షన్ ద ఫస్ట్ థింగ్ ఈస్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ది law of static friction law of static friction that is the static friction is directly proportional to the normal force this is called law of static friction simply you can write f s is proportional to n so f s is what static frictional force and n is the normal force when the static friction is maximum when static friction is maximum that is what you have to say limiting friction limiting friction the maximum value of static friction what we call limiting friction so that's why it can be also written as f l is proportional to n here f s is the static friction and f l is the limiting friction clear children so limiting friction also static friction so so this is simply about the law of static friction and now in this case we will write in an fs is equals to mu s into n if you can take limiting friction you can write fl also here mu s is called coefficient of coefficient of static friction coefficient of static friction so how we can write mu s is equals to fl by n what is mu s coefficient of static friction so the ratio of limiting friction to the normal force is called coefficient of static friction for coefficient of static friction there are no units no units because fl also friction force and n also force so that's why here mu s is the dimensionless and units less quantity so this is simply about the law of static friction now we can go for law of kinetic friction now children law of kinetic friction the kinetic friction is also called as dynamic friction and also called as sliding friction also okay the kinetic friction is directly proportional to the normal force this is called law of kinetic friction so kinetic friction is directly proportional is kinetic frictional force is directly proportional to the normal force this is what we call law of kinetic friction simply we are writing f k is proportional to n here f k is means that kinetic frictional force n is the normal force to equate them we are using one constant that is f k is equals to mu k into n here what is mu k mu k is the coefficient of kinetic friction coefficient of kinetic friction so it can be defined as like this mu k is equals to f k by n clear the ratio of kinetic friction to the normal force is called coefficient of kinetic friction this is the definition the ratio of kinetic friction to the normal force what we call coefficient of kinetic friction so children this is about the law of kinetic friction so dear students you have to remember so that is here static friction and kinetic friction are independent of 
or independent of area of contact let's see how to remember static frictional force and the kinetic frictional force and the maniki then we depend on the area of contact with depend kaadu antaram independent of area of contact but the rolling friction is depend upon the area of contact okay children so me already you know video la apdi chestayindi what is rolling friction what is kinetic friction what is sliding friction ani manam rolling friction ivanni kuda video chesana aa kachithanga chudandi meeku friction and clarity vastadi okay na children ippudu ee eppudaithe nevaithe last of rolling friction cheptunnano idi four marks meer exam la rayachu so ip purpose lo ee moodu ma rasthe four marks vasthe avu endu chudam last of rolling friction the first thing is what children the rolling friction is independent of depend on the area of contact rolling friction is directly proportional to the area of contact so directly proportional means what if area of contact increases rolling friction also increases so kabatti that is the first law rolling friction is directly proportional to the area of contact area of contact so it means that if area of contact is more contact is more friction also more friction also more so that is the first law and second thing is rolling friction is inversely proportional to inversely proportional to the rolling body rolling friction is inversely proportional to the inversely proportional to the radius of the body clear fr is proportional to 1 by r so for example this is the one rolling body and this is the another rolling body here radius is more and here radius is less when radius is more friction is less when radius is less friction is more this is the second law rolling friction is inversely proportional to the radius of the rolling body so deenne mana vela raskochandi very simple ila rastam emani if radius of rolling body radius of rolling body is less then rolling friction is more and i h ఇలా అయినా రాయచ్చు ఇలా అయినా రాసుకోవచ్చు ఏంటిది ఇఫ్ ద రేడియస్ ఆఫ్ ది రోలింగ్ బాడీ ఈస్ లెస్ దెన్ ద ఫ్రిక్షన్ ఈస్ మోర్ అండ్ థర్డ్ వన్ రోలింగ్ ఫ్రిక్షన్ ఈస్ డైరెక్ట్లీ ప్రపోర్షనల్ టు ది నార్మల్ ఫోర్స్ రోలింగ్ ఫ్రిక్షన్ ఈస్ డైరెక్ట్లీ ప్రపోర్షనల్ టు ది నార్మల్ ఫోర్స్ సో మన ముందు ఇంతకుముందు ఏవైతే డిస్కస్ చేసామో అదే ఫార్మేట్ రాయచ్చు రోలింగ్ ఫ్రిక్షన్ ఈస్ డైరెక్ట్లీ ప్రపోర్షనల్ టు ది నార్మల్ ఫోర్స్ దెన్ వాట్ రైట్ ఎఫ్ఆర్ ఈస్ ప్రపోర్షనల్ టు ఎన్ this is the rolling friction and this is the normal force then what you have to write fr is equals to mu r into n here what is mu r coefficient of rolling friction so that should be defined as mu r is equals to fr by n the ratio of the ratio of rolling friction to the normal force the ratio of rolling friction to the normal force is called coefficient of rolling friction so children this is about the loss of friction so children ee video meeku ardham aithe video ni like cheyandi share cheyandi comment cheyandi mana channel subscribe cheskondi wait me friends kuda channel ni subscribe cheskomani cheppandi okay na thank you